caseworker's life is, is very unpredictable. Um, we oftentimes get in reports that are assigned to us daily. Um, it's not unusual for us to be assigned a new report of abuse or neglect every day. We're mandated uh, to make contact with those families within the first day. So it's often very chaotic in intake. It's often very unscripted, unpredictable, and oftentimes we don't know what we're walking into. So when our unit gets the case, we're working to reunify the kids with the family if they have been removed, or we're working to keep the children in the family. The cases that we have in child welfare are immense, and we have the number, just the number of them. The workers in Ross County and the ongoing unit are running anywhere from 30 to 40 cases. Our first and foremost priority is to make contact with these families and make sure all the kiddos are safe and that the family has what they need. Whatever that may be or, or however we go about obtaining that is the unpredictable part and you just have to be ready for anything. It's very traumatic going into a strange home and seeing what a child's living in. It's very traumatic having to tell a family they'll never get their child back. So our caseworkers are dealing with those traumatic events um, which really builds up over time and, and has an impact on them. And so we really need to start focusing on helping our caseworkers deal with the trauma that they've experienced so that they can continue to do the good work that they do and, and really start to be recognized as the heroes that they really are to our communities. We got Benjamin straight from the hospital. He was two weeks old and we got the phone call. And um, of course we said yes with flying yeses and jumping and we were so excited to have him. That's how I initially got to experience a caseworker. They were just there to answer any questions. They were our moral support. They came in our home and visited us. They would cry with us. They would um, just walk that path with us. They were just there for every um, situation that we faced with Benjamin. So my day is split between office duties, which include referring to resources, and then going out and building a bond with those families. I love challenges. I adore kids. I want, you know, the thing that makes me happiest in a case is when I can see parents and children laughing together, you know, toward case closure, when we've helped them better themselves. Um, that's why I do it, because I want to see those kids thrive. And I want to see the parents happy. I want to see them learn new things about their community that can help them. Yeah, I have a, I have a son uh, named Ben. He's 10. And he has uh, some special need and uh, some disability. Uh, there was one time that he left the house at the middle of the night. And uh, everybody was sleeping. When I brought Ben back home, uh, the first day, uh, the children's service come over to see where we live, and we're trying to figure it out to avoid the thing that happened that night not to happen again. Working with Stacy really, really helped because it exposed me to a lot of help that I did not know exist. Caseworkers and foster parents are on the same team, you know, even though we play different parts. They see us, they have to have somewhat of a, a sixth sense, if they could possibly, to, to know, you know, are, are we who they all perceive us to be. Even after all the inspections, all the questions, all the things we go through, you know, they, st they still have to lay down at night and think, have I made the right choice by placing this child in, in, in that home? Children didn't ask, you know, to come into this world and uh, 
I think it does us well to, to serve children in need with excellence and with all the resources we can. Our mission is to strengthen families and that, that's, that's it. And I think that's probably one of the greatest um, pieces to our agency and the things that we are trying to do and the places that we're trying to go. I would like to say thank you to all the caseworkers that are making those hard life and death decisions on a, on a day to day basis for our children. They often go unnoticed and I think it's time that we start paying attention to our caseworkers and really recognizing them for all the wonderful work that they are doing in ensuring children are safe and protected, families are stable and that our communities are strengthened.